All right, here we go. We are going to unmute all the mics. We're going to do this. We are doing comic book movie trivia once again. Hello, everybody. Hi. What's going on? Jeff Lowe, Ken Jack, Brandon Davis, the experts again. We're introducing Anthony and Stephanie, first competitors of the night. We're doing two rounds tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> Doing two, doing two rounds. On a full hour? I, I guess so. Oh my God! More chances to embarrass ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Uh, so you guys are Team Korg, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this off the bat. We we're introducing something new tonight because our other trivia show that we do in the afternoon, uh, the Dozen, which is just any trivia, we introduce lifelines, and we're gonna do this uh, new new lifeline called it. It's gonna be the uh, double dip question or double up question. So. In the beginning of a category, before you get your questions, before you get your questions, you can choose to make that worth two points. Um, okay. If you get it wrong, the other team will then get a chance to have theirs worth two points. It's like the steal will be worth two as well. So, do we, do we learn your, the topic before? Yes, you'll know the topic beforehand. You know, so, yeah. do it at your own risk because if you get it wrong, no penalty if you get it wrong unless the other team gets it right. They get uh, two times the points as well, which would obviously suck ass. So. Uh, all right, 12 <laughs> rounds, 24 questions, 30 seconds. You get more time if it needs more than one answer. You guys ready to go? Ready to yeah. start it off? Let's roll. All right, the uh, Brand Brandon and, and Ken Jack team are going to have the first one of each round. So here the we go. Let's... Can you put some respect on it? <laughs> <laughs> we need Let's... to make a team name. <laughs> we do need to. Let's put some here. I got to get these. These bad boys have to disappear here. All right, here we go. First category is going to be Superman franchise. The Superman franchise. First question. Marlon Brando appears in two Superman movies officially. The first movie and what other one? Is, is it Quest for Peace? Oh, I mean, you can have, you can take that answer. We can submit that. <laughs> Um, I'm almost sure only because there was like a closing moment in that where they do something in the Fortress of Solitude. So unless you know something I don't, and I, I'm i willing to take that guess. I'll, I'll go with you on that. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. You guys have 15 seconds to steal. Do you know what movie it would be? Um, okay. I'm going to say something really weird just out of there. Man of Steel. That's, it's not a bad guess. That is incorrect, though. It was actually Superman Returns. Okay. He was in it. They uh, used footage. He was supposed to be in two, and then there was a huge contract dispute or something like that, and he was never in it. He was only in like some other version. Uh, was one of those things where they stole his like voice and footage. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Him. yeah. Ru ruined his family and his reputation. All right, zero points off the start, but no steal either. All right, Superman yeah. franchise. Famed actor Frank Langella appeared in what Superman movie? You guys have 30 seconds. Frank Langella. Superman 2? Is that what you guys want to go with Superman 2? Yeah, Superman 2. Superman 2 is uh it's actually incorrect. It's actually incorrect. Brandon and Kenjack chance to steal. Oh god. I'm fairly confident he was in Superman Returns, but now I'm off center because of the last one. <gasps> Marlon Brando. Oh man. Because oh. we did we did what do you call it? Um we had Brandon Ralph on once and I remember looking up the movie, but I'm pretty sure he had a credit. What are you guys gonna go with? In Superman Returns. I mean, second time's the charm. Let's do Let's it. Split. Superman Super Returns. Yeah, that is correct. It's Superman oh. Returns. <laughs> we, we, we doubled it up. We doubled up. Good, good, good stuff, Ken Jack. It's, that's, that threw me off so much. I was like, there's no way. It's almost like in a test when you get like the answer number D or letter D <laughs> twice in a row. You're just like, no, one of these is wrong. <laughs> All right, second category is going to be, remember, you can obviously double up once you find out what the category is, one actor, many movies. So an actor who has been in multiple comic book movies or roles. All right, it's not getting wants to double it up. Brandon and Ken Jack, here we go. James Marsden has been in two comic book movie franchises. Name them. Franchises. Um, what was the Obviously X-Men, but what's the other one? Yeah, uh... I mean, a Sonic a comic book movie. Um, James Marsden. Who else? 
Um, it's like a, an iconic face. I feel like it should be easier than this. Does Sonic the Hedgehog count as a comic book? You can guess like Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, I don't think it is. <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> is this like a... We see like in Jonah Hex. I might I just be thinking this because like, of... I think it's like a deep cut movie. Okay. I... Fucking like Ninja Turtle. No, that wouldn't make sense. That Two answers. Fun. So you have a minute. You have a, you have a few more seconds here. James I'll get thinking. I don't think it's this fucking what do you call it, Jonah Hex because of Westworld. I feel like the the movie I'm thinking of. I'm not. I, I like. I have a. I think it's a comic book movie. I'm pretty sure it's a comic book movie, but. Uh, I don't like. I feel like that would be surprising to all, all of you to actually know this as a comic book movie. If it is a part of a franchise, need a guess. What do you oh, guys want to go with? Franchise. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'll say, I'll say X Men. Well, Two Guns wasn't a franchise. Oh wait, all right, wait, no, not RPD. Oh man, it's just any so... any movie counts as like like property or franchise. You can guess whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. okay so... Two Guns and X Men. That is incorrect. That's not what we're looking for here. You guys have a chance to steal. Okay, it's X Men and Superman. We're tied up. It's Superman Returns again. It was the <laughs> we used Superman oh Returns God. three times oh, in no, a row. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? Who's he in what? Superman Returns? He's a. Uh, I don't remember the character. He's in Superman boyfriend. Returns though. Yeah. It's Superman Returns. All right, you guys are up now. Your turn, Ken, Jack, Brandy. You may have a chance to steal here. Ron Perlman has been in two comic book movie franchises. Name them. James Marsden was in Two Guns, and that's a comic book movie. Oh, Kenny, oh, I guess well, the well, franchise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you get extra credit on the side. We both, <laughs> we both know the one, but what's the second one? Yeah, I don't know if that's a, that's a Wait, right, you guys, you guys may have a chance to steal. So hold on, let them talk that's it through. They they do oh, a I full minute. I know they do a full minute. Then, Wait, not yet, not yet. You guys have it's their turn. I don't want to say that, but that's not. A, that's not a Team Cork talking. stole the first round. Our school, you just stole one in this round. Looking to go two one. I don't know if it was. Got sure. about fifteen seconds. Okay, so I'm going to say Hellboy and Pacific Rim. Oh, that is know. incorrect, yeah. Brandon. You seem to say you knew it. Uh, it wasn't. Hold on, I'm going to run this by Kendrick. Was what? And this might be way off. Was Ron Perlman in Sin City? I feel like yeah, he was. And that that would count, wouldn't it? Am I making that up? Or would that count as a graphic novel? Sin City know. is definitely a comic book. Uh, then it, I feel like you're right though. In Sin City, I mean, like he just visually fits like in there. I, for some reason, I see him in Sin City. Unless that guy just looked. All right, Sin City and Hellboy. That is incorrect. We're looking for Blade 2. Oh my god. Oh, oh, yes. oh, wow. it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of we whiffed on that one. Yes. <laughs> we said before we signed on, if we get any Blade questions, we're screwed. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> all right. All right. We'll, we'll move on. We'll, we'll work on the phrasing for that one in the future. Franchises, I should have. I should, which ended up being right, but franchises was the key word there. All right. All right. No, no, no blood. No blood there. We're tied up after two rounds. Next category is going to be Batman Forever. Batman okay. Forever. I'm Look, as long as we do these, there's going to probably be Batman Forever or Batman and Robin every single time. I'm just That's just a heads up on that. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. You guys don't want to double it up. Here we go. Here's your question. What was the actual cause of death for Ed Begley Jr.'s character, a supervisor at Wayne Enterprises? What happened to his character? Um, I feel like he was killed by um, Edward Nigma, right? Wasn't he the guy that he that Riddler got him? Yeah, like he kills him in the beginning. I think he like throws him out of a building. Like he fall, I guess, fall to death. Is that your guess? Uh, I guess. Yeah, I'll accept that he gets thrown out of a window, thrown out of a building, falls to oh, death. Oh, yeah. oh. I only can just know like right now. No, we we were very much. Uh, I, I need your advice on like all this stuff. I've never gotten two guns if that is actually <laughs> an absolute uh, classic movie, Batman Forever. All right, oh Team Korg, Batman Forever. What was Nicole Kidman's character's name in Batman Forever? Um, Chase Meriden, Doctor Chase Meriden. I will. I'll, I'll take the pronunciation. We're like Jeopardy here. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> yep. 
I will take the pronunciation here. We got a ball game. All right, we're 2-2. We're 2-2 after uh, three rounds here. Next round is Justice League. Justice (laughs) League. (laughs) No one wants to double up. What a shocker. In Justice League, Steppenwolf needs the three mother boxes in order to form what? What's he trying to form? Uh, What's it called? It's mm, <laughs> the well, I'm just so mad good. for not knowing a, this. A portal to oh, to bring uh it it was something where like it would side. suck all the it would suck all the energy out of the planet, right? I mean it's not a, like he's not trying to make a <laughs> boom tube. No. Like he's just trying... you need to just get the three together and like he combines them all and then cyborg and superman separate them before it, it what did it do? I mean is he trying to open a portal for Doctor was... to come in? It was like the, I think so, but it was called like the something. It was like it wasn't like a make the box. Uh, uh, it was like um, need was an like answer continu- continuity or, or something. Fuck, what was it? Oh my god, dude! I I watched, watched, really I've watched Any guess? One and a half time. A portal. Oh my god! All right. What's it called? Time's up. Um, oh, you guys have a chance to steal. Do you know it? Fuck. Oh god. Um, I was gonna go with portal. I feel like I remember this scene too. I think I remember it. <laughs> I mm, we'll see. You you may have that reaction if I should have known that. I don't know though. No, nah, we're not. Nah. All right. Correct answer was unity. Unity. Unity, right? Oh. Uh, Brandon, uh, that's tough. That's tough. I was Isn't about to the, I thought it was the unity. Damn it. All right. You guys have Justice League now. Last one of the Justice League round. Who does Barry Allen get a job with at the end of the movie? Oh, um, um, it's not Wayne. 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 Wayne.
Um, we're going to play the, the, the theme song to the movie. Theme song to the movie. I hope I have the fucking right ones. Um, and you've got to make sure you can hear it. I can play it up to two times just to make sure you guys have the actual thing here. Hang on one second. got to make sure my audio is working. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Here we go. I'm going to play the song. you got to tell me what movie this theme was from. Let's see. Can okay. you guys? One second. Star Wars. Oh, it's not playing it. Hmm. All right. This is DCEU. Here we go. I'll play you a part from the middle of the song. If it ever wants to load. All right. Can we hear yeah. one more time? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll, give you, I'll give you a rewind. Here we go. Do you have a guess? DCEU. Right, so I'm going by process of elimination, Ken Jack here. Like, yeah. it's not Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Fairly certain it's not Flash or Cyborg. I don't even know if Cyborg had a theme song. It has to be Aquaman. I thought for a second it might be Aquaman, but also he, like, plays the guitar in the middle of it. You know, like, isn't there, like, electrical guitar in his? This sounds like synthy. Yeah, I think it's, I'm going, I would go Aquaman. Yeah, I mean, just by deduction, I mean, it's the only one I can even think of. So, yeah, why not? Aquaman is the answer. That is seven Ooh. points. Let's go. I will say, I'm not sure guitar means anything, because I think all the DC themes have guitar. <laughs> they all have, like, like, one, like, really. I know Superman does. I know Wonder Woman does. I just always think of the scene where he, like, busts through the, uh, the submarine, and he goes, like, permission to board, or whatever that cheesy line is, and then they play, like, a big guitar riff, like, down, down, down. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. All right. You guys have MCU. I'm going to play a theme. Tell me whose theme this is. If it looks. <laughs> Can we hear it again? Can we hear it again? I can, I can play up here. I'll, I'll, I'll continue playing. Okay. MCU. We're going go go to go to Thor. Thor. You're going to go Thor? That is yeah. incorrect. Ken Jack was shaking his head like he knows it. I'm pretty sure it's Captain Marvel, right? Yeah, I think it's Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's the guest. Captain Marvel is the answer. Eight to five. That was big. That was big. A lot of time left, though. We're only halfway through. We're a little over halfway through. They were in that is the category. So I'm going to show you an actor or actress who it may be surprising they were in a certain movie. You have to guess what movie they were in. All right, let's, let's make sure I click on the right one. They were in that. Kate Mara was in what MCU movie? MCU? MCU movie. I'm pretty sure she was in one of the Iron Men at one point. I know she's Fantastic Four, which doesn't count as MCU, okay. but just making sure. Uh, Wait, can we rule out Fantastic Four because it's not part of the MCU? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah right. I mean, I, I'm not. This is no help. I mean, Fantastic okay. Four is not part of the MCU. Okay. Yeah. So, is you it, can guess that. I mean, was she the? Was she the? Was she in? Got about seven seconds. Iron Man, th Iron Man three. I would I would guess three only get two. What two is ScarJo? Two is ScarJo. So like three, I think is the one they would introduce. But I remember seeing her and being like, "Oh, it's Kate Mara." What's your guess? Yeah, it's it, like that. Yeah, I think it's Iron Man three. That is incorrect. That oh. is incorrect. Do you guys have a ch uh, an answer here to steal? This would be a big point. Uh, uh, Kate Mara. Iron, Iron, Iron Man two. two. Yeah, it's Iron Man too. Oh! She gives us a she gives a subpoena. She's a U.S. Marshal. That's right. Oh! Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Here we go. Next I one. Hate you, Stephanie and Anthony. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they were in that. 
Uh, Yvette Nicole Brown was in what MCU movie? Oh, oh well, um, um, it's not. Yeah, so that they did, but it's just two. That was a very good deductive uh, Russo brothers reasoning. The answer is Avengers Endgame, which I'm sorry, I didn't give you points. That is, that is. Eight to seven. Yeah, I'll give you points to the other one. Oh, no. right. Rats them out in the elevator, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, real yeah. snitch. Yeah. Just sealed facility. Bullshit. Mm. All right. Next category. No one has their doubles anymore. I'm going to take this away. We, we've we've used up our... One. If you want to give us one. <laughs> we've used up our doubles, <laughs> our lifelines. All right. Category nine is Shazam. Oh, Villain okay. Thaddeus Savannah becomes a host for Shazam's group of enemies named what? Uh, can Jack, you, I, I have a pretty good idea here. Yeah, then go for it. Is that your guess? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is a seven deadly sins. That's correct. All right, nine to seven. We have a, a tussle here. Just a damn. <laughs> Not a movie I remember too well, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, I had to Google a couple things for that one. Uh, here we go. You guys have Shazam. Lead actor Zachary Levi also appeared in the MCU as what character? Oh, okay. oh what character? Just need, just need the name. Oh, it's Dark World. Um, Frando. Frando. Uh, it's is that, is that your answer? Out, I guess, right? Fando. Fando I think it's Fando. Fando. Yeah, that, that that one's that one's too far off. That's incorrect. That's incorrect. So, I'm pretty sure only because we had to talk about Zach Levi forever with this. I think it's it's Fandral. Yeah. F a n d r a l. I, I I knew they were gonna get that if you said that. It's still. Still alive though, down 10 7. Still alive. Round 10. Round 10. You need some steals here. MCU is the next category. MCU. MCU. Name all five directors who have directed a total of two MCU movies. Name all five. Okay. Wait, so the Russo brothers count as two people? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I, I need to note the Russo brothers do not count for this because they directed more than two. Oh. oh. Okay, okay. So it's five uh, not, who've directed two and only two, not Russo Brothers who've directed okay. more than two. Okay, I'm going to – I don't want to say them out loud. Just go for I, it. Mm. I, I, I could probably pick up whatever you don't have, I think. Okay. I'm so pretty, pretty confident. Favreau. Sorry, wait, can you say it again? John Favreau did Iron Man 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. um, John Watts did Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. Mm -hmm. James Gunn did Guardians 1 and 2. Uh, Scott Derrick's going to do two. Um who Peyton Reed and Ant Man and Ant Man and the Wasp. What's yep. the fifth one? Uh, Captain America one. What, who directed Captain America one? Who? Do, I was no. Gonna say that's, that's what, uh, what, what, what other did two and three or two and? Josh Whedon, Avengers and Avengers: Age of Ultron. That's five. Yep. Yeah, you did get all five. Whedon was the last one there. Uh, that is correct. All right, eleven points. Favreau, Whedon, Reed, Gunn, Watts. All right, you guys have a have a five for as well. Name all five people in the MCU who have successfully lifted Mjolnir. Who's wow. lifted Thor's hammer? Okay. Guys, you guys have a little. You have over a minute on this because it is five answers. Uh, you 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 don't need this, but you would put yourself in basically a, a sudden uh, death got, situation. And Jack, I got us. I was gonna say, I think I I know at least four. Can, Can they steal, steal this question? question? <laughs> Can you? <laughs> do you, you want to do this one later? <laughs> no, no, they can't steal, right? Because oh no, they can steal. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't want to say a lot. Free real um, estate, baby. Smart. They they they're in the same room. I thought I said, could you skip? Yeah, they're in the same. Yeah, this is this this is the one benefit of, of being quarantined. Where Ken Jack and Brandon don't have that luxury. <laughs> All five people have lifted Thor's hammer. Wow, I, I didn't realize it was five, but it's five. Brandon knows it. If he, if it does move to them, it sounds like it'll be the clincher and the victory. Reminder, we have another challenge coming up after this. He did, but he, he technically was, was lifted from something else. You guys have about 30 seconds. Maybe 30 more seconds or a minute 30 for an answer of five. Because that's just a lot of people. Okay. Okay. I got four. All right. Right, so, so we're gonna, gonna do, do Thor, Thor Captain, Captain America, America, Vision, Vision, Spider-Man. Spider -Man? Technically. Technically. Okay. 
You have a fifth. That's lucky. I need Never. 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 Uh, uh, need a fifth answer. Uh, Hulk. Hulk. Just throwing random. Throwing random. <laughs> that, is, that is incorrect. I think you're going to have both of you are going to go oh, fucking no right away. Brandon, Ken Jack? Uh, so it's going to be Thor, Odin, Hela, Vision. Uh, and oh. Captain America. America <laughs> yeah, yeah. They knew, I knew you guys would know it. That is correct. That That is the clincher. That is a clincher. Tough battle. We'll let you guys keep going because Team Korg, build up some points here because we're going to have people returning for these. Uh, round 11. Round 11 is Aquaman. Brandon and Kenjack, what longtime world-famous actor provided the voice for Kareth uh, <laughs> the Keeper of the Trident? Oh, Julie Andrews. God. Julie Andrews. Yeah, that is correct. It is Julie Andrews. Uh, you guys now have Aquaman as well. What cool. famous action star plays King Narius, I believe they say, in the movie? I haven't seen this in a long time. Famous Dolph, action. Dolph star. If that's your guess, that's a Dolph, correct Dolph, guess. Dolph yep. yep. Dolph Lundgren is correct. All right. And then last category here, Kingsman, the Secret Service. Uh-oh. We, <laughs> we went outside the comic book. Oh, uh, the right. MCU. What was the name? I need the last name because I believe it's all they say of Samuel Jackson's character in the movie. I, I think it's Valentine. It's yeah, Val it is. It's Valentine. It's something with hearts. I knew that, but I, I think it is Valentine. I totally forgot. <laughs> Go Valentine. It is. It is Richmond Valentine. Mm. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, you guys for nine points, which you are so far. One of the two challenges. No matter what, you have the most points so far. Uh, what food does Valentine serve to Colin first, Harry, while at his estate? McDonald's. McDonald's, McDonald's. McDonald's is correct. All right, so you end with oh, nine points. <laughs> okay, a couple of the steals were, were difficult. Uh, thanks, guys, for coming up. Thanks for. Uh, no, thank, no, thank, you, thank you, you, guys. That was awesome. Yeah, well, thanks. That was a really fun challenge, guys. Team Korg, nine points, most so far. We'll, we'll keep it bang. We'll, we'll do like some sort of tournament of champions one day. So uh, I appreciate it, guys, and uh, we'll be in touch. Thanks. All right, so All right, thanks, guys. Stay All safe. Right. Stay safe. All, All right. Do not hang up yet on us on on Twitter and YouTube. I'm sending the link to. Uh, the link to our next competitors so they know. Actually, it's the same link that we just used here. All right. All right, a little debrief, guy. What, guys, what did you think? Was What was the one that you guys missed that you were most pissed off about? Unity. Unity. <laughs> Unity. Your Batman Forever and Batman and Robin questions are going to kill me. Every <laughs> <laughs> because you're going to have to watch them now, and I know you don't want to. I would rather <laughs> lose points. The, the Unity one killed me. That was so frustrating. All right, we're gonna we're gonna re retweet this. We're gonna wait for our guys to join here. We're gonna wait for them to join here momentarily. We're gonna have more trivia coming up here any second. You guys are, are two and zero, fourteen points. That that's pretty. Uh, that that that's pretty. That's some big time shit right there. That is. Now I'm a little nervous about this next showing. I I don't know why I was surprised you knew Julie Andrews so immediately. Because I remember we made a, a hentai joke about her when we found out that it was Julie Andrews. And I was like, I knew she was okay. the Kraken, the big Kraken monster that protected the whatever, the trident. Yeah, that 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 sounds about right. That's that's why we've... That, that's what gets it stuck in the brain. That's why we talked about Julie Andrews and Aquaman. Go figure. Well, that's um, gonna right. one of our last roles. I'm just going to be a hentai We're resetting the graphics here. Hold tight with us, everybody. Uh, we're waiting for the, uh, the, the, the new competitors. Got a team Spider Ham coming up. Oh, I like that too. Tom and I don't know what the other guy's first name is, so it's just Tom and Sakharov. All right, let's see. Is he? Uh... I like Steph and Anthony. They were good sports. That was fun. They, they were, were good, good sports. They had some good answers, man. All right, I told this guy ready for. I said I told this guy we're gonna set it at nine o'clock. Guess what time it is? It's nine o'clock on the dot. Uh, we're gonna reset the points. What do you got on the wall back there on the shelves? Star I was wondering, Wars. that is all Star Wars stuff. Nice. My desk in, in my office at work, my, my desk at work is all Avengers, and this is all Star Wars. It's all, all the wars, man. Oh, my my baby Yoda arrived at my apartment today. I got the Amazon notification. Very much not in my apartment right now. So it's going to sit in my whatever concierge forever. I got the, uh, oh, Brandon, I know you're a big Hot Toys guy. I got the baby Yoda Hot Toy. Did it come already? No, it's supposed to be coming in August. Yeah, honestly, that thing is cheaper than I thought it would be. Like, like I mean, it, I mean, it's not like it's priced less than most hot toys that size. You know what I mean? 
and I, I did like I did like the payment plan. I was like, I was like, whatever. Oh wait, it says yeah. they're both backstage. That's I don't I don't see them. Hmm. One one second here. I'm not gonna lie. When we uh, when we had the director's question, I have an Infinity War poster right in front of me. So I just went through all the characters on the poster, and I was like, "Who directed your movie? Who directed your movie?" <laughs> I can't get my my guys in here. Hang tight, everybody. Sorry, one second. I had the group of four, but like Joss Whedon would have evaded me just because I would like whenever it comes to mainstream Avengers shit, I'm always like, oh yeah, obviously the Russo brothers. I never even would have put two to two together. Yeah, yeah. And Avengers: Age of Ultron was such a stepping stone to Civil War. Mm -hmm. Like I, it, mm -hmm. back, it's actually a pretty good movie, but it just like in the moment when you were watching it, it was like, oh, I wish we were at Civil War. Exactly. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get ready to re retweet this link, everybody. One more challenge here tonight. These these guys say they're pretty fucking good too. So all right, I don't want to lose. I really don't want to lose. I will feel like a hack if I lose. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're doing pretty good so far. Yeah, I don't know why I can't get these guys in? I go to bed after these and I think about the ones we got wrong. Uh, the Unity one's gonna haunt me for a long time. That's oh, gonna really yeah. bother me. That was uh, that's on me too. Here we go. Here we go. All right, what's going on, man? One, yeah, you sent your buddy the link. How's it going, guys? I just sent Dan the link, so it should be like another minute, not even. Cool, cool. All right, we're gonna have a uh, Team uh, Spider-Ham here. Second challenge. Here nervous. comes Dan. Good. What's going on? All right. What's up, man? What's up, fellas? Uh, um. All right. So here we go. Well, let's 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 do a let's do a re retweet here. Hang on a second, Dan. You got a toy shelf, so now I'm immediately nervous. Oh yeah, it's got comics <laughs> up there too. That's that's <laughs> always the that's always like <laughs> that's the that's the sign. Uh, one second. I'm like sitting the opposite way in my room too, just to like be like, hey, like I know nerd shit. <laughs> Smart, same, <man>. same. <laughs> what do I have? I have? I'm sitting in a doorway, so I have Ethernet. I have some big Chinese symbol up there, and that's about it. There you go. Nice. That means tranquility. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <right>. sure. <laughs> Let's do this. 12 rounds again. Totally different categories this time. Actually, every single category is different. No repeats from the last one whatsoever. Same thing. You guys are going to have lifelines again. You're going to have the double point thing. Uh, so you can double up on any category before you see the question. Can't do it after you see the question. Um, I, I, I guess that's uh, I guess that's it. Let's just get right into it. Here we go. I'm going to share my screen. Round one is a movie everybody loves, and that is 2015 Fantastic Four for Brandon and Ken Jack. What was Victor Von Doom's name originally supposed to be in the movie? Sparking controversy. Not Victor Von Doom. I think that's technically a correct answer, right? <laughs> God, I oh, and they put like a little reshoot in the movie with a little piece of paper that said Victor Von Doom just to fix it. What was it? It was like some shitty name because he was like a computer hacker. Fuck, I don't remember offhand. Uh, oh, it's gonna haunt me. It's gonna haunt me. Was it start? Oh, it's something with oh my god, I'm seizing. I don't remember this. Nothing. I don't know it. Victor All right. Frankenstein. You guys for this you guys for that's incorrect. You guys for the steal, do you know it? Victor Van Dam. No, I'm just kidding. Um <laughs> Tom, do you know? I have no yes, idea. I, I, I hate this movie. Can you hear me? I can't hear Jeff at all. So You can't hear me? I can I can hear you. Can't hear him. I can see the question, but I don't know. So can you hear me? Know. Can you hear the rest of us? Yeah, I can hear Brandon and Ken Jack, but I That's can't weird as hell. But if he can see the question, that's what matters, I guess. Yeah. So just relay Tom, that. you don't know then? Relay that to Tom. I don't know. No, I'm not sure. Okay. okay. Here is. I know he's supposed to be a hacker, but that's it. I don't know. It's like. <laughs> yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to. He is supposed to be a hacker. It's it's Victor Domashev. <laughs> yeah. Victor Domashev. <laughs> Stupid. What a dumb name. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna right. to. Oh, that was. Oh, God. I remember writing about that. It was like the first big movie I wrote about. I just started okay. working there. All right. Next question. Team Spider-Ham gets it. What famous voice actor portrays Reed Richards' teacher in the movie? Oh, God. Um, do you know? 
No, I haven't watched this movie. And his voice actor. Oh, this is a 2015 one. I've never even seen this one. This one's terrible. Some may say one of the worst movies ever made, regardless of genre. Yeah, that's probably why I didn't see. <laughs> Isn't Famous it, voice actor. You want to just guess Kevin Conroy because that's the only one that comes to mind. Yeah, really do Kevin Conroy. Sure, there. Kevin Conroy. Kevin Conroy is incorrect. Uh, a good guess though. Ken Jack. Brandon. I can't hear Mark Specifically, Hamill. R. Kelly. No, no, no. Mark Hamill. Oh. Uh, he, oh, played, no. he played a professor in uh, Kingsman. Um, he did uh, play I'm, professor. In Kingsman. Any guess? I, I think it's the Simpsons guy. It's, but I don't remember his name. I don't know. Who's the, the the very very famous the guy who voices Homer Simpson? It's um. Dan, you shit. know. It. <laughs> All right, I need a guess. I, I don't know. guess. I don't know. It, Dan, right. Dan. Shit. I got nothing. You're buzzed. You're buzzed. Sorry. Uh, you were. You just took too long to give it up because that was it. It's Dan Castle and not the correct answer. You just took to it. Just I I had to buzz you. Had to be fair. That was tough to watch. We had this morning, we had, we had trivia and, and PFT guest, uh, Mr. Lip and uh, Mr. Pittman. And it was actually Mr. Pitt and Mr. Lipman. Oh, uh, oh, and it was man. just tough, just tough scenes. All right. Second category. Remember, you can double up. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is the next category. All right. No one wants to double up. What currently popular <laughs> comedic actress makes a brief cameo in the movie? Brief cameo in the movie. In Ghost Rider? Like the Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider? It is. I'm talking about the Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider for what it's worth. It oh, it's it's Rebel Wilson. It's Rebel Wilson. I remember this because I did, I did research on fucking because uh, I watched it on Netflix when it came out on like recently, like two months ago, and I was like, Who fucking X Y Z was in this, and then I looked it up and I was like, It's Rebel Wilson. Why is she in this? Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson is the correct answer. She's like a goth in the movie or something like that. Mm -hmm. I hope I didn't offend anyone. That that may be like an offensive <laughs> thing to say. I don't know. I, I don't even know, know goths even exist anymore. Just Ghost Rider. You guys have a chance now. Tied up one nothing early on. Only second round. What late actor played uh, the devil in the movie? Uh, I got this. Brandon. I know. Um, I, know I know that. I don't know if I have the name right, but I know who it is. Like, I, you want me to say it? Say it, yeah. I know it's Fonda. Is it like Peter, Peter Fonda? Oh, um, yeah, Peter Fonda, I think. Jane Fonda's the sister, uh, younger sister. Peter Fonda. Ding, ding, ding. Tied up it, one nothing. It is Peter Fonda. Great poll. Great I love poll there. movies, I guess. Ken Jack, Ken Jack <laughs> had that one. I think Brandon did too. All right. <sighs> Round three. Movie release years. You got to get it dead on. No closest guess. Movie release years. Here we go. X Men: The Last Stand for Ken Jack and Brandon. X Men: The Last Stand. So X Men was two thousand. X Two was two thousand two. Right. I'm, Tom looks like a fucking release year. I want to say two thousand five, <laughs> but I don't. Was it that much of a of a break? I think. Am I? I it's like I was definitely in high school, and I started high school in two thousand five. I think it's two thousand five or six. Oh, I remember watching this in middle school too. I think it's—I think you're right on 2006. I think it's 2006. Okay. So let's go 2006. 2006 is your answer. The answer is 2006. All right, two to one. Two to one. You guys have one next. Here it is. Your question is Jonah Hex. Oh, fuck. Um, I think it came out the same year as Dark Knight. I think 2008. What happened? You're breaking up. Oh, I think 2008. I think it came out the same year as The Dark Knight. You're going with okay. 2008? I think, Dan, unless you... Um, I think it's like further. Hold on one second. There we go. 2000. Yeah, if you want to say it, Tom, you can. It's either I, 2009. I Dark Knight came out in July, and I know I think it came out... In like five seconds. You can debate it. Let's go... Let's go 2008, I think. That is incorrect. Brandon and Ken Jack. I would have guessed 2008, so now I'm off. 2010. 2010? 2010. It's 2010. Wow. That's the correct answer. That is the correct answer. All right, a lot of time left, though. Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier is the next category. Oh, do you... Mm. Oh, wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that away real quick. I I, I'm, I didn't see it. Do you want to... Uh, 
I know this could go in so many directions. I don't know if we want to do our double here. Uh, it's pretty well. But this is only, we're only round four, too. You got a lot of time left. You want to hold on to it? Uh, that's enough. Let's do a heat check. Heat check real quick. Oh, okay. They're going for the doubler. So if you get it wrong and they get it right, they get two points as well. Here it is. When asked by an Apple employee if they need help, what do Nat and Steve say they're looking at? Uh, they're they're looking for vacation, right? They're they're going on honeymoon. They're going on honeymoon, right? Yeah, you're, yeah. Because the the big Apple employee goes like, "Oh, if I look like you, wow!" And does it yeah, awesome. actually creepy to him? Team Spiderham knew that too, but you guys got it. That is worth two points. Uh, here we go. Yeah, Winter Soldier. Cool. Great call, Winter Soldier. What album does Sam recommend to Steve after their initial run? Oh, isn't it? Sam Cook or something like that. Um, no, I know Star Wars is in the book and stuff like that. Uh, is Sammy Davis Jr. No, I don't think it's Sammy Davis Jr. Um, Twenty seconds. You got time. Album. I wouldn't be able to guess the album anyway. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> not like Thriller or anything like that. So I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you really uh, missed out on zombie Michael Jackson. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're not. I, I, probably smart to not even guess. Don't give anything away. Brandon Kendrick, do you know it? I don't know. I don't. Uh, my gut tells me the late great Bill Withers, but I don't think that's correct either. But I remember the scene vividly. He goes like X Y Z by X Y Z. That tells you all you need to know. Uh, uh, I don't know. So no one gets it. It is the Trouble Man soundtrack. That's what he yeah. says. He says that they're all like collected right there or something like that. All right. Round five. Trailers. Trailers. I'm going to ask you a song in a trailer. Okay, here we go. This rap hip-hop song was used in the first teaser trailer for the movie Shazam. Oh, oh fuck. Ken Jack, a noted music guy. <laughs> I remember disliking the trailer because of partially this. And he does like the shoot dance in it. Remember he? Do you remember he? Uh, Zach Levi and the big muscle. First man. teaser. Oh uh, damn! I don't know. I what can't think it, of it. What? I want. I I, th I want to say that it was that that Kendrick Lamar song that was on. Uh oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're hundred percent right. It was um. Because I remember thinking like this is not appropriate for Shazam. Um, Kendrick, uh, what's the song name? Uh, uh, need an answer now. Need an answer. Yeah, humble. Yeah. Humble. 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 You're right. Humble. Yep. It is humble. Yes, mm, he does do man. the fucking dance. The, they use right. Mars DNA in the Black Panther. I got trailers for you guys. Going back to the uh, DC universe, the cover of what famous song from the '60s accompanied the first trailer for Justice League? Is it an icky thump, Dan? Yeah, but that's not a that's not a '60s song, isn't it's it? That's like that. Company. First trailer was released at Comic Con. I can tell you the details. Just to tell you which one it was. There's so many trailers. It's the first first trailer released. I just know icky thumps like playing as they like bury the uh, mother box in the trailer. It's like the opening shot. Um, famous song from the 1960s, accompanied by the. 60. God damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm at a loss. No. Nope. All right, do you know Brandon? It looks like you might know it. Yeah, it's come together. Bum, bum. Oh. You're right, yeah. Oh, yep. yeah. That, that is correct. It is it is come that was together. Easy one. Yes. Yeah, great, great trailer, call. and if you like the movie, you're not. Great trailer. Very good trailer. Actually, I actually left the theater very pleased with that movie, I'm going to be honest. Um, don't ask me my opinion now. You had fun with it? Batman Batman begins the next category. Um, Tom, Dan, do you guys want to double? Batman I begins. Double just for the hell of it. Yeah. Is it? Okay. I need some points. Okay, you're gonna double. Uh, but this one not for you guys. Uh, this oh, is for true. We're Brandon and Ken. What is the name of the man who kills Bruce Wayne's oh, parents? I, you know Wait, that's that's for Ken, Jack, and Brandon though. That's not for us. Is it? Yep. Is it the same in the movie as it is? It's like, uh, Joe Cool, Joe, right? Joe Chill. Oh, Joe Chill. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Joe Chill. What are you going with? Joe Chill. Joe Chill, okay, eight points, but this one's doubled for Spider Ham. This would be a big one for you guys. In what country is Bruce Wayne? Bruce Wayne hmm. imprisoned and then trained. What con 
Oh God. Is it? You get extra time on the doubles. You have a minute. Imprisoned and then. Like my gut just wants to say Russia because it's usually always Russia, but. <laughs> yeah, but like Liga, what was it, Liga Shadows or whatever? Maybe China, like. Um, I don't know. I know we are. Russia, I know. We need this one. You have time. You have 30 seconds. You can talk it out. Um, I want to say like Indonesia. No. Uh, Philippines, maybe? No. Because he goes up in the mountains, too, and I don't think there's mountains in the Philippines. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, give them all the easy ones. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, that was us when uh, what was it? Uh, you gave the Iron Man. I, 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 I try question. my best. All grievances can be kidding, taken I'm up kidding, afterwards. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> at the end. All right, just uh, I, I, I have no idea. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna say Indonesia. <laughs> that is that is incorrect. Do you guys know it? I don't know it. I mean, it's, it's a crazy place that. Not crazy place, but just like a. I it's don't for sure a Southeast Asian country. I know it's it's not. I don't think it's Thailand, but it's like one of those tiny countries, like maybe Bangladesh or something. But I don't know. I know it's a race. I don't know which one specifically. Passing on it. That it's is big. So you guys don't lose two points there at least. There's your answer. Yeah, wow. yeah, Bhutan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up on the screen, I believe. Yeah. All right. It's all right. Still over half the game left. Credit scenes. Credit scenes. I said okay. Mid, Stinger, Post, all that shit. Here we go. Brandon and Kenjack, what movie's credits scene does someone proclaim Age of Miracles has begun? Uh, um, I know. I'm pretty sure it's Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Who says it in the credit scene? What movie does uh, the guy, Str Von Str Stryker, uh, or Strucker. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah because he has a twin. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's... Uh, that is correct. That is correct. You guys have one now as well. Keep pace. And what movie's credit scene does someone end by saying, let them try? Um, That's how the credit scene ends. It's not strictly MCU, right? It could be anything. These these are all, these are, and I should have said that these are MCU. I should have said that. These are uh, MCU. Um, Though, I mean, that, and, you know, it's most of them. Let them anyway. try. <laughs> Oh, uh, Avengers. That's what Thanos says. I think. Thanos, yeah, at the end of Avengers, yeah. right? Uh, Avengers, first Avengers movie. That is incorrect. Oh, okay. man, I thought that was good, too. I want to say... You stink. I want to say... No. I want to say it's Black Panther because I feel like it's when Bucky gets... Like, they're going to come for him or something. Yeah, I think you're right. And he says, "They'll, you know, they're going to come for you." And he goes, "Like, let them try." Is that Black Panther? The, no, I think it's the end of Civil War. What's your guess? You got to guess. Is that Civil War? Black? That's got to be Civil War because then yeah. Black Panther came out after that, and the arm was off. Yeah, and then they, yeah. I think it's Captain America: Civil War. That is the correct answer. It was at the end. T'Challa says, let them try. So I don't come for you. Let them that try. Avengers is court death. God damn it. Yeah, the court death. <laughs> You're I and yeah, I knew you knew that too. Yep. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Category number eight is Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. Need a specific job here. What is Bruce Campbell's profession in his cameo for the movie? This for us, right? No. No, this is for, for Ken Jack and Brandon. Specific, specific job for Ken Jack and Brandon. 30 Seems seconds on this one. In the first one, he's the announcer for the WWE thing. I believe the second one, he's the usher for like the um, like the theater. Like, you remember he misses the play and he's like, oh, we can't let you in. I'm sorry. I think you're right. I think so. I, 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 I haven't watched these movies in a very long time. So I, I'm just going to, what you're saying sounds familiar. It's either usher or ticket guy. I don't know what you would call usher. Sure. Usher is your guess? Mm hmm. Usher is the answer. Yeah. Nice, dude. Big old bow tie. All right. Spider-Man 2. What part Big of Dr. One. Octavius's brain controls his robot tentacles? What part does he say controls his tentacles? Also, this is obviously going to be a medical term pronunciation. Not a big deal on things like this. 
either cerebellum maybe um Yeah, I mean, that's that, that's what I was going to say. So if you want to just use that, go with that. That's correct. Two points. Wow. Cerebellum okay. is the correct answer. Well, name, know, this, right. name this character. I need title, not first name, and then last name. I need both. Here we go. Okay. First up, who's this character for Ken, Jack, and Brandon? <laughs> R.I.P. and peace, Gary Shandling. Um, I, know, he's a, I know what role he plays, but... He's Senator. Um, damn it. It's the fuck you, Tony Stark line. It's so he funny. Um, Stark. Yeah. And he has the Hail Hydra line in Winter Soldier. Uh, or, 10 seconds. I don't know. I don't know. His name. Se- Senator Gary Shandling. I don't know. <laughs> Senator Gary. <laughs> that is obviously incorrect. You guys know it for the steal. Uh, Senator Stern. Senator Stern is the correct okay, answer, right. though. That's a big steal. You wow. stay very much alive. You're going to have to claw back. You stay alive. Here is yours. Here is yours. Oh, Commissioner Loeb. Boom. Don't know, I don't think you guys need to talk about that one. That's correct. All right, 11 4. A little Damn. comeback here. That's a big round. It's a big round. Here we go. We're talking Thor. There's uh, still. Okay, Thor Ragnarok is the next category. Thor Ragnarok. While on Earth, Thor disguises his hammer as what? Uh, no, 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 we're up, right? Yeah. Umbrella. Yeah. Umbrella is your guess. Umbrella is the correct answer. I did. Or Ragnarok. What song plays during the scene where the Thor has explained the details of Sakaar while sitting in a chair? Well, Thor is expl- That's not... Yeah, I know it's yeah, not for yeah, me. I was yeah. just reading it for myself. He sits. He sits in the chair, and he gets like the, the he gets like all like the crazy psychedelic shit, and then he meets. Yeah, Stanley uh, says, "Don't touch my hair," or whatever he says to Stanley. Uh, That's know. not, and I'll, I'll explain the scene because it's tough to explain the scene. That is not the scene. I mean, when he meets the Grandmaster for the first time. Oh, what song is playing? Yeah, I keep thinking of that weird Grandmaster ship. The noises that come from that ship. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I'm not thinking of the right scene. Nope. Um, I, I don't know. Any guess? No. All right. Do you guys know it? It's a uh, pure <laughs> imagination, right? I, I don't know what the song is. That the technical song title? It's, uh, well, it's. I was gonna say it's like a really silly song, and it's a small world keeps coming to my head, and I know it's not that. No, no, because it's, they're pl- it's playing the Willy Wonka song. It's a come with me to yeah, you. yeah. Oh, the pure imagination. It's pure. I, I, the I, entire I, scene is an ode to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory yeah. with, with the tunnel and the psychedelic yeah, the pure imagination. Clutch, that dude. Uh, round one. We'll keep going. Keep going. Get some points because we're gonna have you guys back at some point. Non DCU and MCU. Non. Oh God. Mystery Men. Mystery Men <laughs> was a was a major reference in this song's music video and used the song in the soundtrack. <laughs> oh. It was uh it was All Star, right? I'm pretty sure it was it was Smash Mouth. Was, I think it was like, maybe not All Star, but a different Smash. What's the other big Smash Mouth song? Because I remember they, they were in the music video and it was really weird. <laughs> Brandon pretending what's, to not be a big Smash Mouth fan right now. What, what's their other <laughs> big song? Play at my wedding. <laughs> what's the other big song? Not All Star. It's ten seconds. What's the song in Shrek, or is All Star also in Shrek? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, you know, sir. It's the other big fucking. Wow. It's another Smash Mouth song. I'm like ninety percent sure. Just go with All Star because if it's not, yeah, why not All Star? It's All Star by Smash Mouth. That's no. <laughs> I think you're thinking of I'm a believer. You literally tried to talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Shrek. Yeah, Shrek, thinking... the other one. Aren't they all Shrek? Is it like every Smash Mouth song in Shrek? <laughs> they had to sign an exclusive deal with, uh, well, the new with the Shrek is like franchise. This <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about we were right out of that. That would have been bad. Uh, all right, you guys have a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Who was the main antagonist? Main antagonist in the movie. Who's, who's the bad dude in that one? Um... Dorian Gray turns bad towards the end. He's like part of the team. Uh... It's not. Uh, no, I'm thinking of like Sherlock Holmes. Oh, is it like. Is it Dracula? Who? 
Because don't Dracula aren't they like? Oh no, maybe I'm thinking of Van Helsing or whatever. But <sighs> the early two thousands were great. Yeah, right. <laughs> the um, boom. <laughs> I know the guy in the mirror turns bad at the end. That's all I know. Uh, and that's Dorian Gray. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, we'll just go with Dorian Gray, I guess. Yeah. He he eventually is a bad guy, not the main one. Ken Jack Brandon, do you know it? <laughs> Moriarty. Yeah, Dan. Uh, I, I, Tim, you were about to fucking it. say it, yeah. too. You were about to say it, too. You are so close. Uh, <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, it is. It's it's Moriarty. What a fucking movie that is. All right, last round. What's the line from uh, MCU movie as walnut date loaves go that wasn't bad? Uh, I, it's it's Spider-Man Homecoming. I'll take your word for it, yeah. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. Oh. <laughs> I was like on delay. I was waiting for that. I was on delay. <laughs> oh, man, I hate myself so much. What movie? Ben? Far from home. Feel like uh, he was so calm. No, 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 it's it's homecoming. It's it's uh when Tony Stark eats the, the loaf loaf after No 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 it's not. It's Civil War. No it's Civil War. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, that's yeah. Time. He good job. Yep. Because you just yeah. I mean, you think of that as the origin from the origin yeah. movie. It's and it's not. Oh. <laughs> Brandon, that was tough. Oh. <laughs> I hate myself. All right, you guys have one more here. My R and D is up to all sorts of no good. DCEU movie. Dark Knight. Because research and development where Batman begins. No, well. Are you referring to like? Oh, it's, it's got to be a DC. I, yeah, I, I do. I, for for all references on this show, the the Nolan do not count in the DCEU. Okay. Uh, okay. R and D is up to all sorts of no good. Um, Wonder Woman takes place mainly in the yeah, not so. like yeah, so it's not Wonder Woman. Um, um, I want to say I want to say like Justice League, just because it looks like a terrible line. <laughs> <laughs> that's this. That's the best logic I've heard on both of these first two shows. Uh, uh, is that your guess? Yeah, let's just go with it. Justice. Yeah, Justice. It please. is incorrect. It's incorrect. You guys know. Oh, oh man, we're done with Justice then, right? Uh, Batman versus High Superman. points, Dan. High five. Yeah, yeah. done with Justice. There's one or the other. It is. It's Batman. That's versus the movie Superman. we love. Which? Which? Damn it. Tom, you you told it. Well, first of all, sorry, I said fucking beat her, right, Bill. Uh, but Batman <laughs> versus Superman. I, I, I take half half credit, half because Mr. Stunning Movies has a fucking accent. I, I tell him all the time I blame him. Um, <laughs> but you, what, can you tell your story about Batman and Superman real quick? Yeah. Uh, so we actually, the two of us, I won a radio contest to go see Batman vs. Superman at the world premiere at Radio City Music Hall. So it was like the opportunity. You got to go see it. Like You basically got to stand on the red carpet as the stars walk by and everything. We got a picture with Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill. Like, pretty much all the stars. Will Smith was there. Um, I peed next to the penguin from Gotham. <laughs> uh, so let's go see it, um, whatever. And first of all, I will just openly say this. I still stand that that's a good movie. It's not as bad as everyone claims it is. Totally fair. Um, it's definitely got its flaws, but I think looking back at it, it's nowhere near as good, good as it was, but because we saw it opening, not opening night, but... Yeah, you were opening. like, we were, we're not, you, this is not our job, like, we're not used to yeah. seeing stars. I was like, it's fucking Ben Affleck. You it's always like shit whenever you had a premiere or anything. Oh, it's yeah, you're, it's fired so, up. You're like, this is great. So yeah. that night afterwards, uh, I tweeted out a response saying, if uh, Batman vs. Superman is an example of what's to come for DC, then Marvel better watch out. Uh, <laughs> and I woke up the next morning to a ton of texts uh, my quote was on the front page of Yahoo. Um, it was on BBC. Um, actually, Tom, Tom, Tom quoted it and put it out. Um, I sent Jeff the link and everything. Uh, and then I got a call from the BBC saying they wanted to interview me once the uh, reviews came out. Because <laughs> I was crashing it, but I loved it so much. Uh, I got a lot of Twitter hate, obviously, for that. But um, <laughs> I stand that it's it's not as bad as everyone says. Especially the Listen, first Ben time. Affleck wasn't bad. The movie. No, Ben Affleck was a great like, Batman. back to it. Yeah. First yeah, time, that, yeah. that movie, I think, is like a masterpiece. I think him running through Metropolis <laughs> and all that, I think it's awesome. But 
there's there's bad parts. Too. I love it. You you hyped up that movie for so many people. You were you were no. to blame for so many. It was, big... it was like that Wednesday or Tuesday before too. Like I remember, it was I all over the place. Lifted and Dan texted me, and it came in at like a thirty-two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. And we were like, "What happened? What did <laughs> every hour it dropped too? It was like getting lower and lower. We're like, we just need more people to see it. More people will like it. It's, it'll be fine." <laughs> It, Never it, happened. Uh, I love that. <laughs> um, thanks, guys, for doing this. We're definitely we'll have you guys back. I know. Yeah, I think you probably got every one of their cuts. That's just how the fuck cookie crumbles. But we'll have you guys back. We're gonna do like a free for all one at some point. But all right, uh, perfect. Thanks. We'll, guys. we'll stay in touch. Appreciate you guys signing awesome. up. Thanks. Sending guys. the notes. Brennan, appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it, guys. Thank all you guys. Right, everyone appreciate else, it. thanks, guys. Nice. Subscribe on YouTube. We'll be back next week. More comic book movie stuff. Ken Jack, Brandon. I'm Jeff Lowe. Stay safe. Good night.